it. I see Lobo and his army walking to the ring. I have the boss is here, Eric. Sharon Lobo is still the boss of CZW, whether you like it or not. The match didn't even happen yet. How can you brag about a victory that didn't happen? Lobo said he's not even going to wrestle this match. He considers his contract void. Why is T-Bar bloody? Why is T-Bar bloody? I don't know what's going on, Eric. Is he just time of the month or something, John? But he's the boss. He can do whatever he wants, Eric. This is his show. The cage of death four. We are just moments away from the creation of devastation. The innovation of annihilation. The cage of death. And what's he going to say, Eric? He's got something in his hand. He better, he better explain to 1,200 fans that showed up here tonight. And hey, wait a minute. It's an exploding cage. He knows that. Someone's got to go down there and see if he's okay. Wait a minute, there goes Rebel. What's Rebel doing? Is he going to try and stop the show like he did last year? Remember last year he came out? He made himself the ref. Uh oh. Eric, this is not good. He's he, down. If Sheriff Lobo damaged his eyes, Eric, how can he even fight in this match? It is an exploding cage. And Lobo is down with so much on the line right now. This is the last thing he needs. We have a doctor there, Z-Bar again, bloody. I don't understand why. I don't see Adam Flash anywhere. All right, Rebel wants to talk, Eric. I think we should just shut up. That's not how he put it, John. <laughs> Pennsylvania's finest. One. So I guess he's still the boss, Eric. Yeah, he tried to shut it down last year, Eric. He sure did, but he did it, John. And Lobo is a coward. I mean, I hope his eyes aren't burnt or anything. Oh, yeah. This is worth the price of admission right here, Eric. Just listen to the boss. The coward, John. It's not happening. It's a coward, John. He said it. Work. If you don't want it to happen, it won't. Shut the hell up. Uh oh. What is he talking about? He's, now he's playing video. He's got some kind of footage. John, here's how it's going to work. Cage of Death is not going to happen tonight. Yeah. You are going to sign this contract, and it is all signing on. nothing. That's it. It's my company now, John. Nothing. Give it to him. Warm him up. Warm him up. Give it to him, Give it to him. Give it to him. How do you like that, now? Get him, Rebel. Get him. <laughs> how you feel now, Johnny? Huh? You ready to sign now? Come on. How's Come on, bitch. Huh? Flash, go get the contract. 
Go ahead, Flash. Give us a contract. Before, John. Before, hold him down. Hold him down. I told you before, this is how it's going to go. This is my company now, John. You've got no place here anymore. So, uh, I'm signing nothing, <laughs> son of a bitch. Oh, you're going to sign. You're signing gonna nothing. Sign. You're going to sign. You'll sign. Ah! 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 Hit him, Rebel. Right? Hit him, Rebel. Hit him, Rebel. Ah! Hey, oh, ah! shit. Hold him down. Hold him. Ah! How are you feeling now, Johnny? Awesome. I ain't huh? signing nothing. You're going to sign. Nothing. I'm going to nail him again. You want to nail him again? Ah! 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 That's that you ready now, John? No. Oh!
and he's going to be mad, John. I thought the boss's boys took care of him. Obviously not, John, unless he's dead. Unless there's not a breath left in his body, he's back. He's here. Look at him. A and mess. he's a beaten man. Look at him. He got, got beat up, Eric. He's a bloody mess, John. He's beat up. He's been dragged in the feet with light tube, with warm wire, with duct tacks. He's busted up. And look at He shouldn't even be here, John. They beat him up to him in that truck, Eric. But where did they take him? I don't know what they 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 filmed that in Delaware. They must have taken him to Delaware, John. It had to be. What the hell's going on here, John? I mean, Eric, if you were John Sandig, would you still want to step inside that cage of death with Sheriff Lobo? With every last breath in my body, I would. John, this war between Lobo and Sandig is about 90% mental, 10% physical. And that 10% physical is right there. John Sandig, look at the physicality of, those, of this war. The boss wants to talk, Eric. He's a comedian now. Oh, he's funny. Oh, what's he got to say now? Hasn't Lobo beaten him enough? Like you said, Lobo, the contract that I made you sign, you were coerced. Your lawyers told you it was invalid. Well, guess what? That is invalid because what you and these idiots did to me means nothing. That contract means nothing because I'm here and you're in that fucking cage like I said you would be. The contract is valid. He's nervous. 
He's nervous because he knows Lobo's going to kill him. He can just bounce his hand on him. Eric Sheriff Lobo's already held the victory over John Zandig in the cage of death. And he don't look too nervous if you ask me. I see Max Smack coming down. Oh, no. I see Max Smack at ringside. John, I don't know what's going on here, but it looks to me like we have a valid cage of death matchup. Uh-oh. And look at Lobo. He looks like he just saw a ghost. Well, he did, Eric. He, he didn't play in the wrestle in the cage of death. He looks like he just saw a ghost. He is here, John. People came all the way from England to see the cage of death matchup between those two. And this is what everyone's been waiting for. You can cut the intensity with a knife, with a dagger, John. For months, that's all the CCW fans been talking about, Eric. This cage of death four, and it's happening right now at the CCW arena. And it's on, John. And it's on. Sheriff Lobo, the opportunist he is, goes right to work on John Zandig. John Zandig, a beaten and battered man, coming off his... The White Beaters retirement match at a night of infamy, Eric, in a match that he lost. Absolutely, John. Lobo is one, excuse me, Lobo is two and one in Cage of Death matches and in the Cage of Death. Zandig is one, one, and one in past appearances, including one Cage of Death matchup. Oh, yeah, John, that one lost to Lobo in Cage of Death 2. Big right hand there by Boss. No block by John Zandig. Zandig once again. John Zandig has nothing at all to lose in this matchup, Eric. He's already lost. They're going to back smack his projector cables. He's electrified him. He's electrocuted oh, Lobo. Oh, wait a minute. Just like at the cage of death. Pass, Eric, go help him. Just like at the cage of death one, when Justice Payne was electrocuted against Lobo, courtesy of Nick Gage. Max Mack, I knew he'd be up to no good out there. After all, Sheriff Lobo's up for Max Mack. Everyone in the white bit of heat. He helped retire the white beard. Those cables have enough electricity to start a tank, John. They just electrocuted our current boss, hopefully our former Lobo. Well, John Zantic had to resort to drastic measures there, Eric. He just took a beating at the hand of the boss, Sheriff Lobo, and his boys, Eric. John, this is the kind of match where you leave home and you look a little longer into the eyes of your wife or your girlfriend or, or your child because maybe you're not coming home. Maybe you're not coming home the same. Maybe they're not going to see you for a long time. You may wind up in a hospital. Chances are good you will wind up there. It is that sick. It is that dangerous, this cage of death. Max Mack now on the other side, hooking up those cables on the, on the steel cage over there. John, some say that it was cage of death three that ended the career of White Beater. He's never been the same since the cage of death three. And anything can happen here tonight. You're absolutely right, Eric. Anything. This is cage of death. John, there are no rules. Belcano! Belcano! Right over that cactus! This place is sold out. It's jam-packed. CCW Arena. They are risking their health. They are risking their careers. They are risking permanent scoring for one match. To settle a score, John, it's bigger than just CZW. It's bigger than a payday. It's bigger than the 1,200, 1,300 fans that came here tonight to see these two go out like warriors in gladiator times. It's bigger than that, John. It is personal. Much bigger than that right there. What's John Zandig doing? Looks like he's setting up Lobo to whip him into that cage. Uh oh reversal. Lobo with the reversal. Zandig puts the brakes on. Zandig now. And again, a couple of right hands. That cage created. This will keep Lobo's army out of the cage. At least it should. But in past cage of death, John, we have seen wrestlers come up from under the ring and past cage of death. John Zandi just getting thrown into that cage of death. Was electrified on that side. You see Max Mack over there, up to no good as usual. Hey, he's here seconding Zandig. Zandig and Max Mack are part of the big deals, John. Like it or not, he has a licensed manager here at CZW. Jeff Lobo now with that cactus whipping John Zandig, who's already a bloody mess. And he's scratching him up. Look at him digging the claws of that cactus into the back of John Zandig. Eric, that board is set up over there in the corner. I think that's nails sticking out of that board. John, this match is disgusting. It is sick. It is violent. It is brutal. 
It is everything that CZW was created on. The ultra-violent cage of death, innovated by Lobo and Justice Payne. That's right, that man Lobo. While he may be the underdog in some people's eyes, he is the innovator of this matchup. Uh-oh, and it on suplex. Oh! Bam! He caught him with that, Eric. Hard way, John, hard way. It's not looking good for John Zandy. Maybe he should have showed up tonight, Eric. What do you think he's thinking right now? I think right now what John is thinking, he's thinking about the company. He's thinking about the last, the last 10, 11 months being without a home, being unemployed, not being able to provide for his family like he once could, not being able to look into the eyes of his child with Christmas right around the corner, John, not being able to look into the eyes of his wife at night, not being able to look in the mirror and look at himself in the eyes. That's what he's thinking about. Both men already hit that electrified cage, Eric. I'm sure it's taking a lot off both men. And a trash can, a trash can over the head from a piece of trash. Sheriff Lobo means business, Eric. You can say whatever you want about him. You can call him a coward, but in these type of matches, he's a coward. But in these type of matches, he's hard to beat in these matches, Eric. And you know it. Lobo didn't even wrestle at last year's cage of death. He was scheduled to take on Zanding in a, in a scheduled one-on-one -on -one contest. He wound up substituting his Rachi Danny Rose, Doomsday Danny Rose, into the matchup. Oh, you failed to mention that Sheriff Lobo was injured for that matchup. Please. He's Zandig. just as injured now as he was then, John. Zandig holding on to that knee. You know, John, some people handle adversity a little different. Rick Blade and Lobo, they got injured in the same exact match. Rick Blade took some time off, and now he's back in CZW with a smile, John. Lobo, he's bitter, he's angry, he's jealous of everybody since that night of take one. And he's taking it all out on John Zandig, just as he's doing right now. Lobo now, John Zandig with a snap suplex. So much on the line, John, so much. I'm sure that Sheriff Lobo's got a plan. He always has a backup plan. You know, it took Leonard Toes 20 shots of whiskey to gamble the Philadelphia Eagles several years ago in Atlantic City. John Zandig gambled CZW sober on adrenaline, on hatred. He was drunk with hatred uh -oh. for Lobo. He's got him up. No! Throw a bomb in the table. Throw a bomb into the table. There's nails sticking out of that wood. There's nails. No, they're not, John, because now they're in the back of the boss, ripping through the flesh, digging deep. Boss right now, not in good shape. Lobo's in trouble, Eric. If he has a plan, he better put it into effect right now, Eric. Quickly. John Zandig now limping. He's got a bad wheel in there right now, John. Things are not looking good if you're a Zandig fan. Things are looking even worse if you're a Lobo fan. If you're a CZW fan, you just might as well say a prayer. John Zandig's limping there, and Sheriff Lobo can work on that knee. It'll take the power away from John Zandig. And another plant, a cacti, a cacti. That's not the first time we've seen a cactus in this building, but probably the first time in quite a while. And that's not the first time Sheriff Lobo's felt a cactus, Eric. John Zandig now with that table. What's he doing with it? John, I'll tell you what. You know, some people say that this is our last show ever in this historic building. Some people try and live off of the coattails of previous legacies. CZW tried to carve their own, tried to carve their own niche. And what a way to end our reign here in Viking Hall and with the cage of death. CZW made this building live again, Eric. It was dead. It was out until we came here with Cage of Death Prince. Absolutely, John. Absolutely. John Zandig now setting up those steel chairs on that table. The ball sheriff level is still down in the corner. You know, John, coming into this event, nothing that I could say here on commentary could prepare you for the kind of violence and brutality that you would see in this match. That's a plane of glass. Oh, wait a minute. That's a plane of glass. And that's totally legal. This is Cage of Death. Everything is legal. He's setting up a pyramid of hell, John. A pyramid of hell inside of a cage. Uh oh, Sheriff Lobo's getting up. Looks like he, he may be trying to get away with John. From he's, John going, he's going for the contract. He's going for the contract. Oh, he can take company back right now. Uh-oh. Zandig's got to do something. He's only a few feet away. That cage is wired. That could explode, that cage. Zandig following him up. The contract hangs high. Above the steel cage of death, and Zandig and Lobo are inches away from grabbing that contract. They're risking their lives right now, John. They're risking their lives. 
Zayn Zane's elected not to grab the contract. He wants to inflict more pain on Lobo. Like I previously mentioned, John, it's not about the contract. He's trying for the mother effing bomb. He's got to be out of his mind. He's got to be out of his mind. He can't even keep his balance. His equilibrium's off. Lobo's equilibrium's oh, off. He can't oh, do no. it. He can't do it. You're better off not. Come up with a B plan. Come up with a B plan. Oh, here we go. That's Molly Driver. Oh, oh. Company means oh. Oh. on the line. The thing will have another chance, John, if he loses this match. Hell no. He'll never be allowed back this in the PA. This is it, Eric. Last chance, Daddy. His last and he had to steal his last chance. That's questionable, John. Adam Flash is a good man. Adam Flash aligned himself with Zandig and made this match happen. The boss, Sheriff Lobo, busted wide open. Boss for, for only a time, John. For only a short time. That ownership could end in a matter of three seconds. Zandig now placing Sheriff Lobo across that table. He's climbing the side of the cage. He's climbing the side of the cage. Don't ever question the heart of a man like John Zandig when his back is up against the wall, when he has nothing left, nothing to lose, John. Absolutely nothing to lose. He's already lost it all. Uh oh, Eric, you know, he can grab that contract right now. He sure could, but it's not about the contract, John. It's not about the paycheck. It's not about the television time. Oh, Zandig versus Lobo. Oh, no, not again. Oh, he wants to kill Sheriff Lobo. He, he said he was going to die. Damn, someone call 911. John Zandig, John Zandig. John Zandig is an animal. He's a lunatic. He's a maniac. He's left nothing in the back. He left nothing at home. He could have grabbed the contract, but he instead, instead, he risked life. He risked his injury. He risked injury. He risked his career. Now both men are out on the concrete floor. Ma 
maybe later on during this matchup, because this match is not later on. on. John Jones might regret not grabbing that contract. Later on, he had the chance. How much longer do you think a match like this will continue, John? If this match continues, it's a one man, one man grabs that contract that's hanging over the cage of death. Talk about heart, John. Talk about heart. The only man that could beat John Zandig right now is himself, John. Because again, this is a mental game. Maybe he spent too much time thinking about it. Maybe he spent too much time preparing. The only man, the worst opponent right now for John Zandig is the man himself, John Zandig. Oh, man. Someone's got to go out there and help the boss. Where's Rebel? Where's Danny Rose? And look at Lobo. You want to talk about adrenaline? You want to talk about emotion? He's back up. He sure is, John. He sure is. He might be a no good dirty son of a bitch, but he sure has a lot of heart. You know, these things right there. He's close to that contract, Eric. Sheriff Robo scaling the other side of the cage. Reach up, damn it. Reach up and grab it. Just reach up. Eric, I think he wants to win this company back, but he wants to punish Robo like Robo's been punishing him for the last 13 months. They're at it again, John. The last time these two. We're at this very same spot in the match earlier tonight. We saw what happened. They can't sustain. They can't sustain another fall, John. They just can't do oh, it. No. It's not humanly possible. Mother open bomb. Oh, Mother open bomb. Yeah! Someone call Mother What a way to win your company back. What a way to win your company back. Big left. And you know what, John? Oh, that's Scott Moran. He played by that contract. You know what, John? Whether it's Sanding or Lobo, this company ain't going anywhere. This company ain't going anywhere but up to the top. Someone's got to do something. Someone's got to do something now. Look at the crowd. They feel it. They sense it. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no. 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 Derek, are you going to talk to him for me? Ding dong, the witch is dead. Merry Christmas, John House. I can't believe this. He could even catch a microphone. Was it worth it? Hell yeah, John. It sure was.
legend, John. He's a legend in this building. John, this dark era has finally seen some light. What a class act, John. You can learn something from him, you know that? Possible. Mother of and bomb. Oh Mother my God. And bomb. Bam! Someone call 911. What a way to win! Company back. 